Hi everyone, this is Joanna with Moon Water Tarot, and I just wanted to uh, share with you, Nicholas just joined us, uh, some of my artwork because I've been contacted by several of you wanting to see more of my artwork and have inquired about purchasing. So what I'm trying to do, I'm just going to angle this so you can see his cute little face back here. What I'm trying to do is integrate a tarot reading where the impressions and the feelings that I get from the reading, I do an art piece personalized for you. So it's like the art would be the gift, but you would pay for the tarot reading. It would be probably like a uh, 10 minute video, um, but then it would... I'd mail you the artwork. Uh, and I'm trying to find a way that I can do that because the pieces I'm about to show you, I do uh, want to say that I have my, my degree was in art and it was from a Webster University in art school. And well, they, they have actually they're worldwide, but, um, they specialize in art and, the pieces I'm about to show you, like one of the pieces took me almost 80 hours to do. So that would not be something that would be affordable to the masses. And so I'm trying to really integrate both and share that with you and do something where it would be more affordable uh, via a tarot reading. So uh, I wanted to show you a piece. This is the first piece I'm going to show you. <laughs> and um, I did it uh, for my parents for Christmas when I was three years old. Yes, I was three years old. It's got the date on the back. Um, I'm not even going to show it. But this was my very uh, first piece. And I actually remember doing this. I remember sitting in the room doing it. So uh, it's. I think that's one of the reasons why I've kept it or my parents have kept it. But I now have it. So anyway, well, let's get on with the rest of my artwork. All right. Thank you. All right, so this is a very large piece, hangs over the staircase. It took two people to hang it, um, but, and uh, I like working very big. The problem is the framing is incredibly expensive. So, uh, but this is a very big piece. I think it's like four feet by four feet, so, I call it the butterfly and it's charcoal on paper. Okay, let me move on to the next one. So this is another piece that I did. I did this one, uh, wow, I think it's been about 12 years ago that I did this. It, this one is a very wide or long, um, I'm guessing probably, I don't even know. And this is even, this is unframed. So this is going to be huge and, uh, and expensive to frame. So, uh, with these big pieces, they have to be framed with plexiglass, which is very challenging because of the static, uh, involved. So you really have to protect the work, uh, cause this is also charcoal and uh on paper so and nicholas is right here too <laughs> yes all right so i just wanted to show you this piece that i have yet to frame <laughs> okay so this is another also big piece <laughs> Like I said, I, I like to work big. I just feel like it gives me so much freedom. And did I just see orbs or am I dreaming? I know that quite a few people have been contacting me. Um, I keep thinking it's dust though, but people have been contacting me saying that they're seeing orbs in my tarot videos. And I thought I just saw something weird, but I think it's dust. I'm sure. So anyway, 
uh, because it seemed to be moving slowly. That's why I think it's dust. Um, I know if it's moving really fast, I, I don't know what's going on. But so this is uh, getting back to my artwork. Uh, this is a piece that is done and it's also done with, uh, and here's Nicholas visiting. It's also done with charcoal uh, work. And this was also done quite a while ago too. Uh, yeah, it's been like 12, 13 years. I, I just haven't, you know, um, with framing and everything, I still need to spray it, but considering that's how old it is and it's still in very good condition. So, all right. So that's another piece that I have and Nicholas is looking around. Are you going to say hi, Nicholas? Huh? You gonna say hi? Okay, I don't think he feels like it. So, all right, let's move on to another piece. This is such a beautiful cathedral, and this was a student project that I did. It did uh, get into the student show. It's of the Cathedral Basilica of St. Louis, and I think it's also known as the St. Louis Cathedral. It's a Roman Catholic church, and I lived in the Central West End. That's where this is located, and uh, there was, I think it was about two blocks from my apartment, and back in, I think it was 99, when Pope John Paul II came to visit, he was literally blocks from my apartment, and this was a project where we had to shoot um, panoramic views, but you had to do it by photographs. You couldn't automate your camera for panorama. You know how you can do that even on cell phones? So this is one of those that probably I spent almost 80 hours on because this is about 65 photographs all having to be joined layer after layer after layer after layer. And I did it in Photoshop. So basically, this is the entrance of the church here. This is the ceiling and this is the altar. At, so when you walk in, you actually see this. So I did like 65 or 70 photographs. It may have even been more. It's a 180 shot. So when you walk in, your back is to this, um, and this is what you see in the front. And I'm going to try and show it a little closer. I'm trying not to get the glare or the, uh, because the flash, you know, if I angle it wrong, will show in the picture. So it's just, it's so beautiful. So I had to share this piece with you. All right, so this, I love this piece. This is a commemorative piece, which is beautiful to do for a family member, a loved one, a friend. And as you can see, because of privacy issues, I've blocked out some information. But this piece did make it into the student show also. And I um, took different objects from their life. They got medals here. This is where they signed a ribbon. Everybody that graduated that year from in the class from med school have a microscope and um, just some, you know, a flag. So just very representative of their entire life, even when they were like three years old. It's such a cute picture, but... So this uh, took many, many hours, many hours. This is one of those long pieces. So, but I still wanted to share it with you because it has a lot of meaning to me. So thank you. So some of you have already seen this and it's ink on paper and I just let my mind go. And this is what I came up with. 
this took so many hours. Actually, this takes probably as long or longer than one of my huge pieces. Um, this is very intricate work. So that's another piece. And like I said, some of you may have already seen it. Okay, let me get on to another. Okay, so this is another abstract piece that I did, obviously in black and white, but this is ink also on paper. And it's not quite finished, but I just thought I'd show it to you because it's different than the colorful, um, bright colored one that I did. Okay, so this is another fun piece that I did. Now, these really take so many hours. They're very intricate, very detailed. And this one um, is ink on paper. And as you can tell, well, I don't know if you can tell, but there's glass on this. It's I got this frame a long time ago, but they have some frames where if you want to work out to the edge of the paper, it's all glass. So like on the back, you know, it's one of these and they have like clip ons. And so you can just buy, you're basically buying the glass with the clips and then something in the back. But it also allows me to not worry about an edge. So, um, so I'm trying to do something where the art would be more affordable than one of these pieces and where I would do a reading and then give the art as a gift in some way. But, uh so that's what I'm working on, but I just wanted to show you some of the artwork that I have done. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Nicholas just joined us here. Are you going to say hi, Nicholas? <laughs> there he is. Yes, he's saying hi. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to getting the April readings up for you. All right, take care. Bye.